and welcome everybody in Twitch and also on YouTube in the future for our next deck. I'm calling this one Smothering Powers. This is a donation deck um, that looks really sweet. This is going to be my very first time to be playing Emergency Powers, and I think my first time playing Induced Amnesia also. I, f I feel like I may have had a donation deck before that had this in it, but I, you know, it was, would have been a long time ago if so. Um, so yeah, kind of first time playing those those uh, cards. Besides that, we just kind of have like a Smothering Tithe control deck um, that, you know, we've we've kind of played these kind of things before with like Revel and Riches with, you know, like our removal spells, um, Karn uh, and Teferi to help draw some cards. So I think like our, our the biggest way for us to win or like the most common way for us to win, what we're going to be trying to do is trying to make a whole lot of treasures with Smothering Tithe and especially uh, Emergency Spiral. Emergency Powers helps us out with that um, by having our opponent draw seven cards and we should get a lot of treasures. And then when we have all these treasures, all these artifacts and enchantments, we're going to rampage at the clans, destroy all of them, and put a ton of 3-3s three on the battlefield at instant speed and get our opponent with that. So that is, that's our goal. We'll see how it, we'll see if it works. We... Uh, uh, may not do so well, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a try. Smothering powers. It's a janky deck. Always like my jank. Um, Avengers. Yeah, like I like the Marvel stuff. So yeah, the Avengers four. I'm certainly looking forward to that movie. That's that's gonna be a really good movie. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I, I like the Marvel movies. Um, Game of Thrones. I I'm not as big into. I. Uh, I watched a, some Game of Thrones, like the first few seasons, but um, didn't get into it too much. Hmm. I mean, I like hitting land drops. All right, so how many lands do we have in our deck? 24. I mean, it's basically six, six lands and nothing because Rampage of the Clans doesn't do anything. Our deck's really good against Thought Erasure. Or this hand, this hand's really good against the auto erasure. That's what I meant to say. Um, we have good mana. I kind of want to just keep this, honestly. Is that so bad that I want to keep this? Let's do it. I think hitting land drops is going to be really important in our deck. We have we have a lot of good cards we can draw into. See? Look how much better our hand already looks. Man, our hand went from terrible to awesome. See, we just have to hit the... You say you can't keep this? I mean, I think you can. I think hitting land drops is certainly an important uh, factor. Now our hand's like suddenly perfect. <laughs> Kitty Pie says you should just keep because it's gonna get worse. I know magic. Sure, man. Don't think we need to settle yet. Let's go and get the treasure map onto the battlefield. Yeah, we, we not only kept a 6-lander, but it was a 6-lander with a card that did that does, like, nothing with Rampage of the Clans. So this is my problem with Settle the Wreckage. This is my problem with Settle the Wreckage, is it gives our opponents more lands, which makes it a lot easier for them to, to pay for our Smothering Tithe, and I don't like that. All right, so I can just emergency powers. So shuffle hand in graveyard, and then draw seven. And then if we cast this during our main phase, we can put a permanent card with CMC seven or less onto the battlefield. So they have six cards. They'll just get, turn from six to seven. Wait. Yeah, you shuffle your hand in, in graveyard in the library. Right, yeah, so we'll shuffle these. Yeah, we can shuffle these back in and draw new ones. You, 
You need seven tokens? Yeah, we'll get seven tokens with this. Let's just do this. So we'll get seven tokens. We get to put a permanent into play. Ugh. Hoping for something a little better than Karn. It's open for Teferi. I battle for the forces of good. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. It's open for Teferi there. All right, so if I spend four tokens, we still have four, five, six. We can put six creatures, six creatures on the battlefield at instant speed. If I let this resolve, we can only put five, but then they attack into it and we get to block like Wild Growth Walker and everything. All right, or I can just let this happen, and we can get even more next time, next turn, and try to just kill them in one shot. Probably should have upkeep scryed. Um, so right now we're looking at ten. So do I want to cast Hydroid Crisis here or not? Probably not. No, so Rampage is an instant. So we're going to do it at their end step. But yeah, you're right. If I would if I would have just done it last turn, you're right. Like maybe finality could have been bad for us. That's not very much life. Sorry, opponent. Eh, let's let's play tight. Let's get the scry in first. There we go. And rampage. Boom. Thirteen three threes. I'm gonna block one. Take thirty six. Our deck is sweet. The problem is sideboarding now. <laughs> now our opponent uh, gets to have a bunch of like negates and duresses and disenchants. Makes it a little harder for us. Um. So negate, melody, absorb. Spyglass, those are all things that I want. Certainly playing Spyglass. Melody also, also sounds good. Negate and Absorb seem pretty good too. But the thing is, if I play all those things, that means we have to cut a whole lot of cards. Um, I don't think I want Krasis. Kind of off the Krasis. Uh, don't need this induced amnesia. But then we're at 66. This is kind of where I'm struggling a little bit. I guess chromatic lanterns. We can kind of chill out on some lanterns. We are only 24 land. I kind of wish we just had 25 lands and less lanterns. Alright, then maybe 3 negate, 3 absorb. Um... Now what are we doing? Now Dawn of Hope is good. I 
Gonna get rid of a rampage of the clans. Let's go down to two negate, two rampage. Lots of lands again. Ugh. Give me the six lander any day. All right, I'll keep this one. Um, I get rid of the Karn. Honestly, I really want this blue source. I'm a little worried that we're just going to be behind, and then the Karn's not going to really help us out because like we're just going to be too far behind, kind of thing. There, I'm glad we went to the bottom of the car and so we got to have treasure map on turn two. Now, I'm not going to scry on upkeep because I want to try to draw the blue source for absorb. I'm going to just see if we draw it where we can have a absorb up and we're lucky. If not, then we'll just have our scry. Alright, we did not. Get the upkeep scry in now. It is a blue source. We have to shock though. Not ideal. I'll keep stop. Certainly think our opponents just sit chilling there with some counter spells. Certainly feels like that. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. So next turn, even if we draw a land, I cannot Nova plus Absorb plus Absorb. I can't double Absorb with Nova next turn. I can throw Teferi out to get countered here, and then next turn have Nova plus Absorb. The biggest thing being if our opponent just untaps with Vivian, uh, us being in a big, big trouble... I think that's worth it though. Yeah, we we didn't win any in standard um, with the with that card with that, uh, but then we played it in popper for that that mill creature card. We played it in popper and then we won um, a bunch of them from popper. Midnight Reaper is terrible for us, obviously. It's going to be a lot harder when they have a bunch of duresses and negates. Make this a whole lot harder. Alright, well, we never even got to cast those absorbs. 
easier to cast those on the play, of course. Um, let's get a third negate over the second absorb. Maybe I should have Krasis in. Yeah, actually, let's just get the Krasis in over those absorbs. They probably, you know, like, if they interact with the stack so much like that, they may not be ready for a Krasis as much. Jealous, don't use that language. All right, let's try it. Maybe got, uh, maybe we should have kept the Karn on top last time. So they have another explore creature, well specifically Jade Light Ranger. They'll be able to kill Karn. Evil, my are you certain of your decision? Yeah, it's it's Dawn of Hope is just for making a whole lot of, of creatures. Just it's a, something to use our mana with, and um, you know, over time, that's all it's doing. A curious choice. Hmm. Love to have a cleansing nova. Right about now. I guess the smothering tithe time. Get some mana, extra mana. Um. I'm gonna be minusing car now. Alright, Cleansing Nova. I have let my friends down. Cleansing Nova. Ugh. There we go. Sell the wreckage is really nice. Should be able to get some good artifacts here. Like if, if their plan is to play Krasis, uh, when we have Smothering Titan play. Crisis, uh when they draw the cards. Yeah, we get we get extra treasures. That is really cool if we had absorb. If we had absorb here, we could like counter that crisis right now. For example. Alright, so we're gonna have settle. We have double settle. Um, I think I'll just have Settle plus Negate. I guess we could have Double Settle plus Negate. Nah, it's not going to be likely. Not with not with playing Searcher as Kanta, I could have had Double Settle and Negate. But we don't need the first Settle immediately here. Hmm. 
That's a good card. That's a good card. No, our opponent's not sniping. If they only attack Thief next turn, then they're certainly sniping. They've been attacking all out with every all the other turns. So they don't have a negate in hand right now, because they auto tap their auto tapper took their blue mana. Um, then they'll get rid of that negate uh, if they want to get all these lands, which I assume they do. It's gonna be kind of hard for Smothering Tithes to help us out now with all the lands they have. I would like to draw a land we need here. To move quickly. Not a land, but Cleansing Nova is pretty good. I can just. I'll just have to use all my treasures. I just don't want to, like, have Settle and. I don't know. I feel like this is worth it. Opponents at 41. Not good enough. All right. Emergency powers. Smothering powers. Picking up a wind to start with. There we go. What a no. Playing Saffron Olive. Hmm. We have to draw multiple lands. We have to draw like two lands out of three turns for this hand to do anything to get to Karn. I'm going to mulligan the two lander. Yeah, I like this a lot more. This is what I'd rather be playing. Or like, I'd rather have like all these lands. Land War Elf. That's not good for us. Our hand is really, really slow. <laughs> don't want don't want that fast mana. Archveroska, Lantern. Hey. Okay. We get to have double chromatic lantern. That's the nice. The Chromatic Lantern Mirror. They're a little faster than us, though, with the Lanwar Elf, but, you know, we were on the play, so it's not so bad. Vivian would be, like, awful. They just had, like, Vivian here. 
<laughs> oh no, Bertley man. You went 6-0 in best of three matches on the ladder and made diamond for the first time. Way to go, Dirk. Good job. Yeah, I'm... Oh no, Wilderness Reclamation? Uh... When this reclamation gives you so much mana that it's easy to pay for smothering tithe now. I I have never played a wilderness reclamation deck, and I don't I don't plan on changing that anytime soon. Ever since RNAs came out, I've I've never played any deck that has wilderness reclamation in it. Come on, Teferi. All right, Krasis is for six, or I mean, yeah, so six mana, so we can get, go Krasis for four. Treasure, treasure, treasure. So I want to use two of those treasures to cast a treasure map. No, let's wait. Yeah, I don't like the design of Wilderness Reclamation. It's just not, not a card I ever want to play. Hey, what's up, Ace Clown? Another crisis. So good news with the crisis, with us having some other impact in play, is that we're not going to be able to pay for those treasures. Ooh. Just cast this thing. Just see what this does. Ah, uh, boo. That's a huge spell swindle to seven treasures. That is a whole lot of treasures. Uh, yes, Hazy. Just don't think it's a necessary card. Yeah, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't think Wilderness Reclamation... Should have been printed. Um, what was your favorite deck to play this week? Looking for something new. Okay, let's see. Let me see. A stream decker. Um. I did like the, I mean, I liked the, the Rakdos Burn deck we played earlier. I, I'm, I'm planning on playing that one again tomorrow and uh, kind of retuning that thing. That Spell Swindle's probably going to do it, though. That was that was a really good card. Um, yeah. Seth has just so much mana now with Wilderness and with... Uh, like the treasures and everything. I, I don't think we can, can compete with what we got here. We'll see. We have to get really lucky. Like, the thing is, like, he has so many artifacts and artifacts and enchantments also that Rampage just isn't really even doing anything for us. Um, Quasi Dupla Ooze is, is pretty fun too, though. Uh, the Rakdos Menagerie deck we played before. That's a good one. Oh, four color discard if you want like a if you want like a really uh really greedy mana base control deck. If you want Esper control with Angrath and Nicol Bolas.
Hmm. Alright, so we'll have negates, melody, absorb. Don't know if we really need to spyglass anything. Nezahal could be a, a pretty decent card to have in here. So I think Donna Hope's probably just going to be too slow, and and he's going to go way over the top of Donna Hope. Um, get rid of Settle. I kind of like Cleansing Nova. Like the Destroy Enchantment mode could certainly be useful. And. And besides Hydroid Crisis, I don't know what else what else he's doing over there. It's all we saw was Hydroid Crisis, so we're just kind of preparing for that. Um, I've got three other cards. A lantern, a nova. And a Krasis. Is Nezahol better than Krasis? That probably is. Let me get the Nezahol up in here. <laughs> That spell swindle. Pretty killer. Alright, turn two treasure map. I guess that's gonna be good enough. It's gonna be pretty tough. Yeah. Um. Wilderness Reclamation does make Spell Swindle a lot better. You know, not having to, like, actually hold up five mana because you just get to spend all your mana and then untap it all. It certainly makes Spell Swindle playable. I advise that. <laughs> there all right, turn struck. Go aggro. Keep stop again. So random pairing. This is kind of annoying that we don't have don't have you know the cr the crisis is just one size too big you know it's just barely too big Am I going to just cleansing nova Could just cleansing Nova. Hmm. Hey Macklesat, thanks for that resub there. If I don't, I'm playing Nezahal. 
So Nezahal takes two treasures. Don't like using two treasures there. All right, max sub number six on the day. Thanks, Macklesath. I want to build a standard deck for FNM style tournament. Any suggestions? Cost is no issue. I just want to 4 0. Um, probably playing like a, a Sultai deck is probably the best way to go. Um, to have like a, a really consistent deck that is powerful and and everything. That's probably like the, the best deck to kind of build towards like a. a a common 4 0 FNM deck. Thief of Sanity. Well chosen. Hopefully Karn can grab us the um, the entrancing melody. Niv Mizzet. What is going on here? Well, that's probably game right there. Please stop. I guess I need to destroy all those chromatic lanterns. I can't, I can't melody. This Karn's dead. Because that extra damage that Nivmiz it deals. So we gotta find like another cleansing nova. Or melody. Melody's good. So one, two. So we want a melody for five, so it's going to cost seven mana. Three, four, or it's for six. So it's going to cost eight mana. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So X equals six. Then I'm just going to use the. I think I'm going to just use the two treasures here and just get Search for Scantel on the battlefield. Man, emergency powers with Niv Mizzet. Please let this emergency powers resolve. Tristani? Oh, come on. Tristani? That's ridiculous. Well, really punished for not destroying those chromatic lanterns earlier. Can't cast emergency powers and miss it on the battlefield. All right, so one and one. We got spell swindled, and then uh, Niv Mizzeted. Yeah, I guess I need to just use the the rampage or the cleansing nova. I think I think going aggressive with Karn was the wrong choice. I think I should have been uh, 
ticking up Karn and uh, save, like if I just tick up Karn, I don't make like the artifacts and it's easier to just rampage away the Chromatic Lantern. So that, that decision ended up uh, costing me for sure. So basically every choice I made uh, ended up being the wrong choice. <laughs> Yeah, yep, early man, I guess so. Test decks just went over the top of ours. So, mono red. Um, this was green hat man's deck. So we'll have Lantern next turn, and then the following turn we can make a 1-1 one, one Life Linker. Likely going to be too slow. Um, Spear Spewer doing its thing. Hmm. I could still... I could still play the search and have Dawn of Hope active next turn. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, search will be able to help us look for uh, Cleansing Nova, um, which is about all I can think of that we really want to find. I don't think our main deck can really get out of this. I, ca I can't think of anything in particular that we can really draw into. No. Nah. We're just going to one here. Spear just kills us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I... Yeah, Seth's deck went way over the top of mine. The Spell Swindle game one got weird, uh, got me really good, and then game two, I, I kind of made every single wrong decision what it turned out to to be. I, I could have killed those Chromatic Lanterns. Like, I needed to be ticking up Karn and, and everything and kill the Lanterns. Basically made every wrong decision that game. I wasn't, you know, was not expecting a lot of that stuff, of course. Um, so Shield Mare, Absorb, going to help out. That was just Boards of Canada. Um, Roy G B I V. I know that's how, if that song thing doesn't come up. It may come up, though. Uh, I guess we got a Fountain Renewal. That could maybe do something. Let's see. Amnesia's out of here. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. 68. Don't love Settle and Cleansing. Certainly don't want Emergency Powers against the Burn deck. Let's just take that thing out. Um, Smaller Tide is also just not going to be good here. It's going to be kind of a, a weird Bant control deck. Yeah, I think we had to kind of take out all of our, our fun stuff with the Rampage uh, powers and um, Smothering Tithe in this matchup. Yes, Ixalan's Binding is going to be, is really difficult to cast in the 20 land deck. But you can use the, your creatures to um, you can use your creatures to help cast uh, Conclave Tribunal. Alright, so we're going to be going Karn Aggro here. That's a good card. It's an artifact. Fits our curve. 
So next turn, Karn minus, make a 3-3. Three, three. And then Karn, other Karn minus, make another 3-3. Three, three. With our opponent only having one land, that's good for us. It's kind of hard to kill three threes with just one land, so hopefully not a second land. Well, there's a second land. That's the way to, to kill it with one land, though. Hey, Last Chance PR, welcome back for the 16th month. Thanks for that continued support. All right. Tick up. Good choice. Honestly, they may want me to have Settle to get the land from Lava Runner. I want to activate the treasure maps this turn because next turn, um, so number seven. Next turn, I want to play Karn and Minus and have just more artifacts in play where it's not just a 3 3. So I want to be able to activate this treasure map this turn and next turn. There is always another fight. Yeah, we'll keep the jellyfish. Hmm. I don't know, land may not be so bad. Determined. Oh, say hello to my little friend. All right, we got a five five. And then Krasis. Next turn, let's see, we have six lands here. Glacial Fortress would be a seventh land. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Like the land with having Krasis in hand may not be so bad just to have that land there. Farewell and thank you for the message. Hey, last chance PR. Thanks for that uh, donation there for a deck tech. Let's take a look at what we got here. Okay. All right, we'll take a look at this deck here in a little bit. Bant value, okay. Love it, all right, let's see. So let's get this attack in for five. With our opponent having um, Spear Spewer, you wanna be able to pressure their life total as well. And we're going to add one mana here so we can make this six, right, two. Yeah, so we can make this six so that we get to uh, gain three, draw three. And of course, I wanted to get the attack in with the the token first because it was a five five before we use that treasure. Uh, 
graveyard. Scry. Guess top. No. We don't need that card. We want to find absorb or negate. Absorb and negate are like the two best cards to find currently. All right, two nails. So it still makes it a 3-3. Three, three. So it's still alive. We're not killing our token. I'm going to just decline. I'm going to let them draw the cards. I think that them they're going to be... I think that they're kind of stuck on mana. I think it's going to be hard for them to to find enough mana. Well, that's a good card. I was going to just play Dawn of Hope um, and be able to make a token, but now we can just gain two and draw two. All right, game three. Another entrancing melody in here instead of a cleansing nova. I could spyglass the spear spewer. That didn't seem necessary though. Let's just make that little change there. Ugh. Would you say that Mather Magic the Gathering Arena is emo friendly? Man, I don't, I don't even know. Um, it's not really, it doesn't need to be a social activity. You can just kind of chill in your room and, and play Magic Arena. So I guess in that part, yes. It's unfortunate putting the Temple Guard into the graveyard, or sorry, to the bottom, because we don't have any other green mana. But honestly, I don't know if we have too much green stuff in our deck currently. We have, like, Hydroid Crisis, which, you know, we don't need right away. Um. Hmm. I'm going to have Negate here. I could certainly see my opponent playing a light up the stage this turn. Emergency Powers is a main deck card. I sideboarded it out in this matchup. Don't want to give my burn spell opponent more burn spells. Who draw the crisis? So good news is they can't. They can. They do not have the ability to cast Pyromancer and Risk Factor. So that's good for us. So I'm really glad that Risk Factor is just leaving. Chromatic Lantern is really not that bad, but there we go. I didn't use the treasure map here because we have like four mana stuff that we could have drawn. Like we could have drawn like an entrancing melody where we could take the the Pyromancer. Um,
Our opponent did see sell the wreckage before. Playing around it. Upkeep stop. Bottom. So I can just Krasis for four. I guess I just need a Krasis for four. <sighs> yeah, I guess I need a Krasis for four. They just need two burn spells to finish me off, though. Two three damage burn spells. Maybe that was too greedy for me not casting. Absorb on the shock. I was hoping they would cast something else during their turn, but you know, like they just have all instants here, which is unfortunate for me. Yeah, that's that's really bad. Okay, well. Dang, one and two. Which, you know, mono red burn. Um, you know, that's, our, our janky deck is not going to be too good there against Mono Red Burn. Um, so, yeah, the deck was pretty fun, though. I liked the emergency powers. Uh, Smothering Scythe Rampage is awesome. I'm still not sold whatsoever on the induced, induced Amnesia, and probably not really the Dawn of Hope. I think I would like... A little more interaction to have early like other things to be doing turns two and three like, i could see this deck playing revitalize i could see this deck just playing like four revitalize as like some cyclers um that gain life i could certainly see that um then uh besides that probably a 25th land is kind of necessary i i don't think three chromatic lanterns is necessary i would trim back on chromatic lantern also i i, I basically just don't like dawn of hope and Amnesia, Lantern. I kind of like all of this stuff. Um, but here, I think I'd want a 25th land. And then you have six slots where you can be playing like Revitalize and um, maybe some removal there. Uh, could have um, uh, Thaumatic Compass also as like another artifact that can help you get lands and everything. Thaumatic Compass is a pretty nice card. But I think that's where I'd want to be, um, kind of somewhere in, like, I think that's something that I kind of want to change, uh, there. Um, yeah. So, uh, there we go. Um, sideboard-wise, I don't, I don't really love Shield Mare. I think I'd rather have, like, Shalai, uh, than Shield Mare. Um... Like, honestly, Absorb could just be main deck. Like, that, this could be a main deck card here. We could just have, like, Absorbs main and Revitalizes. If we just have, like, just Revitalizes and Absorbs, um, that could certainly be nice. And then when you do play against Control Decks, you have some kind of interaction uh, there with, like, the Counter Magic. So I think, I think that could be just an improvement there. And then you can have other Cyborg cards against Red. Um, so there we go. All right, so Smothering Powers... Overall, you know, even though we went one and two, I think that the deck has some potential, and I liked what uh, we had. You know, we beat the Sultai deck, so that's always good. So, there we go. All right, if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.